All right, so this is the simple sales three-step formula. Now, it's not an either-or world. You can use both of these. You can use whichever one is most comfortable for you. You can interchange these. I found that the other one works really good when I'm doing lengthier review videos. Um, it, it works when I'm doing short stuff too. It all depends what you're comfortable with and what kind of message you want to deliver. So there's no wrong way of doing this. It's whichever way you're comfortable. I just wanted to give you another option. Okay, so uh, this is the one that I taught you on uh, the speed ranking class. And it's the simple three step formula. Now again, you want to try and squeeze, squeeze your keyword in here at some point, usually in the light teaser content or in the ask a question, sometimes it works too. So for example, do you want to learn how to cure your hemorrhoids fast? So that could be our keyword, how to cure your hemorrhoids fast, right? Um, and then you want to deliver light teaser content. Now asking a question is a brilliant way to get the viewer's attention because whether or not they want to answer that question, uh, in the way that you want them to answer it. So if you wanted them to say yes and they said no, it doesn't matter. You got them to answer the question and you got their attention because we've got about a five to ten second window to get their attention. And asking a question is a great way to gain their focus and get them back on track to watching our stuff. Then we want to immediately roll right into delivering light teaser content that's going to create desire. So this is easy, right? You can get all this content off of either your client's website or what your client does, like what is the thing that your client does and how does it benefit the person watching the video? Or if it's a product that you're promoting, like how to cure hemorrhoids fast, just you know, go through the video sales letter, go through the sales page, find the features and benefits. So you also wanna make sure when you transition from a feature to a benefit, you use the phrase, so you can. So for example, uh, uh, if you're interested, uh, so, so as an example, um, you'll be able to cure your hemorrhoids without chemicals so that you can do it safely and naturally. Okay, so they need to know, we need to tell them why it's important without chemicals, right? Um, so you want to just try to use so you can. Usually sales pages will already have this in the bullet section. Uh, th that's actually where you can get the best content is just go right into the bullet section. Also, sometimes the subheadlines are pretty good too for that light teaser content that's going to create the desire that you want. And you, you, know, you don't want to drag this on. You want to keep it short and sweet. And then you want to go right into the call to action and tell them what you want them to do. So if you liked my video, make sure and click the like button below and subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when I make a new video. Also take a quick second and leave me a good karma comment. I would appreciate it. Make sure to head on over to CureRoidsFast.com so that you can get that hemorrhoid relief you're looking for. That's it. Excuse me, my allergies, they just keep kicking in. That's pretty much um, it for those two formulas. All you really gotta do from this point on is stick to that you will now have intention when you create your videos. There's nothing worse than creating a video without knowing what the point or the intention of that video is. Now you've got two of my most popular formulas in your hands. They are part of your arsenal. You will be making videos that are better than 80 to 90% of the videos that are out there, better than your competition. So uh, stick to this and you will be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in another one. All right, so there's actually two different sales scripts that you can use on your videos. I'm gonna cover both of them. On this particular video, I'm gonna cover one. And this is the four step WIIFM formula. And WIIFM stands for what's in it for me that being the viewer that's from the viewers perspective so great way to start out this video is right out of the gate hi there this is anthony aries and here's what i got for you just roll right into it what do you got for them okay so i've got this course called speed ranking system and here's what it's going to do for you 
and then you quickly lay out some features and benefits but don't go overboard so the speed ranking system is going to show you how to get on the first page of Google within days so that you can start driving traffic as fast as possible the speed ranking system is also going to show you how to get traffic from YouTube so that you can get more exposure to your affiliate products and offers you want to try to use so you can so you want to give them the feature and then when you transition into the benefit you want to say so you can so you can if you notice a lot of my stuff I'll say so you can because that's what matters to them they want to know why it matters to them a lot of people don't know why getting on the first page of Google is important I know it may, it may seem like common sense to you but there are people that don't understand why that's important to them so uh, the speed ranking system is going to teach you how to get on the first page of Google so that you can get some of the best free targeted traffic on planet Earth. Okay, so that's what you, you say on the here's what it's going to do for you part. And then here's what to do next. And in that section, you want to be authoritative and you want to tell them what to do. So make sure and click the like button below, subscribe to my channel so that you're the first to know when I make a new video, and also take a quick second and leave me a good karma comment. I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to head on over to speedrankingsystem.com so that you can rank on the first page of Google rapidly and get the best free targeted traffic on planet Earth. It took like 10 seconds to say that. And... Um, that has how that formula now I did make a note up here you do want to try to squeeze your main keyword in here somewhere try to make it so it's natural when you're scripting out what you're gonna say try to figure out where you can stick uh, your keyword usually you can stick it in over here or in the what it's gonna do for you section is usually a good section to put your keyword in there just so that it gets picked up by the Googlebot transcription um, system and it can see that your video is relevant we want to make sure that our video has some relevance in the audio because Google is checking for that okay so that's it for the W I I F M four-step formula I'm going to cover the other formula in another video now see you there hey 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 welcome to module two of speed ranking um, okay so uh, we're going to talk about step two, module two, scripting your video. Okay. Now, this is something that I didn't used to do, um, and it's something that I've started doing um, a little over a year ago, and I've had great success with this for many reasons. One, because before I was making videos that people would watch, but they weren't taking action on, so they weren't converting. So it's important that we make a video that's sort of planned out because we want people to watch the video and take action, right? Otherwise, there's no point of making um, these videos. And the reason I bring this up and the reason why it's important is because most or essentially the kinds of clients you want to focus on um, so that we can get some fast cash in your pocket are folks that already have good videos out there so that you don't have to worry about video production. I'm going to show you how to get their video produced for a very reasonable fee from a professional video crew and you can actually charge twice what the video crew is going to charge you and you can make a nice profit from that. But really we want to keep it simple, right? Because we want to get results fast. After we have results, we can complicate things. It's human nature to complicate things and we can make things more complicated if we want. We can offer more services later. But right now I really want to keep things simple and I want to teach you, you know, like what kind of video, what a video needs to have so that when you're looking for videos that you want to, you know, help get ranked from a client, you want it to be a good video because if it's a crappy video and the client doesn't get results, they're going to kind of be upset, right? Even though you got them on the first page of Google, we still want our client to get some results from that, right? I hope that makes sense. So one of the things that you do want to do, um, if the video is not made and you do have to make a video for them, and let's say they don't want to do a fancy production crew, you can always use uh, a, a video scripting service um, to make the video. And there's like Powtoons, for example. You can go on Powtoons and you can do one of those videos where it's like handwritten and you could charge them a couple hundred bucks for that video and make a quick profit doing something like that. So when that happens, when it, it, in, in that case, you want to make sure that the keywords are in your video, okay? And the reason why is because Google is actually able to now start reading 
and the algorithm is going to get better. It's not that good yet, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you proof of that in a second here. Uh, Google is starting to read what's on the videos, so you want to try and make sure that the keywords are in the video. Okay, if not, it's okay. And if, if if their video is awesome and it's made and there's no keywords in there, again, it's okay. I'm going to show you how to overcome all of that. But you know, if you have to make a video, make a script with your keywords already in there. Okay, so. Uh, the conversion formula, the video conversion formula is, it's three simple steps. You want your video to have a pattern interrupt. You want to deliver a little bit of content. It doesn't have to be enough. If you deliver too much content, you're not leaving enough curiosity to get people to go to where you're trying to tell them to go in your call to action. Okay, So less is actually more. I learned this a long time ago doing real estate. My mentor used to tell me, Anthony, like I used to tell people would call up about properties and I would tell them everything and he'd be like, what are you doing? You're not creating enough curiosity for them to want to get in the car, come down to the office and have us go show them the property. So he would, he trained me to do less is more. He taught me that it's important to create curiosity in your prospect's mind because if you give them everything, then they've got no reason to click and go over to where you're trying to get them to go, the call to action. So it's important that you're con you don't over deliver in the content. The content needs to be sparing and it needs to create curiosity, okay? And just keep it short, right? Basically, it's all you gotta do is just keep it short. You know, are you looking to lose weight? Are you looking to, are you looking to lose 10 pounds in three days? Well, I just saw this thing on Dr. Oz about how this new herbal supplement is able to help you lose 10 pounds in three days. Is that something you're interested in doing? If so, just head on over to Dr. Oz 10 pounds in three days dot com and you'll see the actual supplement that Dr. Oz is talking about. That's it, right? Like I didn't tell them the name of the supplement. I did I, I told them where where I heard about it, I told them that the result that they would get, and I said, if you want to learn more, head on over to lose 10 pounds in three days with DrRoz.com, right? Okay, I hope that that makes sense. And, you know, I gave them a call to action in that video too, right? I not only gave them a little bit of content, but I also gave them a call to action, I also told them where to go, okay? So it's important that you do that. Uh, so what's a pattern interrupt? This one confuses people a lot. I have got a lot of examples of this in all of my videos. Uh, let me actually, I didn't think about pulling those up. I'm going to pause the, uh, this video real quick and I'm just going to go find some of my videos for you. Okay, so uh, this is the first one and uh, what I did was I just brought up my screen and did a screen capture and I brought it up to this crazy video with Mike Filsame and Andy Jenkins where they're dressed like a bunch of weirdos. And I've got a crazy shirt on here too. It's uh, a guy in a handicapped chair with a, a girl straddling him and the shirt says easily accessible. And I do that. I tend to wear crazy shirts that cause people to like stop and say, what the hell does it say on his shirt? And um, I've, every time I go to an event, I wear crazy t-shirts. It's kind of like my thing. And what's funny about my crazy t-shirts is Heather gets them for me. I don't know where the hell she finds these things, but she's the one that gets me my crazy t-shirts. And everyone's like, where'd you get that t-shirt? And I'm like, my fiance got it for me. But yeah, so I, I try to do t-shirts, funny t-shirts, just like funny stuff. Uh, you know, we get people to laugh. They open up their, po their pocketbooks and their wallets. Uh, I forget how the quote goes, but an old mentor of mine used to say, funny is money. Funny is money. It's so true. People's inhibitions go way down if you can make them laugh. Uh, so this is an example of a pattern interrupt. You know, people are like, what the heck's going on with this? Why do we, I, you know, what is this? So that creates a little bit of, I want to see what's going on with this video. Uh, here's another one where I did it in front of a big U-Haul truck. I was doing this cross-country move for my mom from Orlando to Boston. Or not cross-country, but I guess, you know, uh, southeast to northeast uh, side of the country. I don't know what word I'm looking for right now. but And so I was promoting a product, Member Snap, and I got in front of the truck and I told people what was going on really quick and why I was in front of this truck and it was so important. I had this important message that I had to tell them about this product that was going on and uh, this launch that was going on and I made this video and 
Uh, ended up killing it too. I think on this launch, I came up like I came in like sixth or something. I was in the top. It's either six or five, and uh, most of the traffic for this launch had come in from the videos. We have three thousand videos. None of that's this is all organic. None of that is from. Um, none of that is from. Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, fake views. Sorry, I'm brain farting today. I don't know why. Let's see if this ranks. It used to rank. I don't know if I still do. No, I don't. I don't rank anymore. So I used to rank like right here on the first page for this. And I don't anymore. So a lot of the traffic was coming from that. Uh, okay, so what's another one here? Uh, here's another one where I'm dressed in a pimp outfit. I'm doing like a, a leaderboard update for JVs. Here's one where I review a product uh, in a leprechaun outfit and I talk about how I just discovered the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and it's this product called Download Passport that's got all this amazing software and keyword stuff, unbelievable stuff for a, an extremely low price. And um, the products that are in here actually sell in other places for more money so it's like discovering a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow because you can access these products for um, for a very low monthly fee. So I made this video, and I, I think I still rank for that because I still get sales from from uh, I still get sales from from this product. D passport. I think it's like that. Yep, there we are, right there, on the first page. D passport. Let's see D passport review number one still. August 9th, 2011. I still make commissions from this video. Uh, let's see. The Naked Weigh-In. This is funny because I remember like my very first video. Um, it was called uh, Looking Like Hell, Anthony Aries. I was scared to death. I was scared to death to get on camera. This is my very first video, July 2nd, 2008. I'd struggled with getting on camera and doing a video for a long time. And at the time, I had just said, the heck with it. I'm going to do it. And I ended up doing uh, a follow me type of video. I learned this technique from Frank Kern. And it's the follow me technique where people follow you around in a video and you take them from point A to point B. And at the end of the destination, during the, de during the process, you build rapport. You... You build trust with the audience and you get them to know, like, and trust you. And then at the end, you ask them to take action on something. In this case, it was a free report that I had created and I needed them to look it over and give me some feedback. And the way the report was structured, it was a, I gave a lot of content in the report. The way it was structured was it was also a sales piece. And this is the first video I ever made. So this is like July, 2008. I launched this before, I launched this before, uh, 4th of July, this video went on to make me $16,000 from this video. So I was very excited about this. It's really funny because I was scared to death to make this video, but I got so frustrated with holding back and making up all these excuses to not do it that just one day I said, screw it. I don't care how I look. We just moved into this house. I'm going to bring people in and show folks, you know, that were on my list. I'm going to show them my house and you know, bring them into my life. They had been following me for a year through email and they had seen pictures of me, but they'd never had an interaction with me with audio or video. This was the first one ever. And the thing just blew up. And it's really funny because I went from being super scared to like, next thing you know, July of two or November of 2010, a couple of years later, I'm getting on camera naked to do a weigh in, right? So it just goes to show you like the whole point of me talking about that is like action, just take it because after you take an action, you're like, oh my God, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was, you know? And then you just start doing it more and more and more, and then you get really good at it. And now I just get on front of the camera and I just talk like, no problem. I got no issues. Sometimes I have brain farts, but don't we all? We're human, right? Okay, so that's like an idea of some pattern interrupts. Obviously, there are more. If you want to get some really good ideas for pattern interrupts, just like hang out on YouTube. You know, if you go to, if you go to the main page... Uh, over on YouTube, I mean, you could see that, like, like check some of these thumbnails out, you know, um, and, and the idea too is these thumbnails are all pattern interrupts. 
but you know, sometimes it's hard to get the thumbnail where you want it to go. I, it's not something I've ever been able to do. I actually just go on Fiverr, and if I need a thumbnail that's like one of these, and I need it set in a certain place, I'll just have someone on Fiverr do it for me. But you know, this guy's really funny. Uh, the Wheezy Waiter, his stuff is freaking hilarious. His videos are really good too. So like, if you want some good ideas for pattern interrupts, just look at some of this guy's videos, the Wheezy Waiter. Uh, and, and that's what I do. I like just, it's actually kind of funny. I get paid to screw around on YouTube. I spend a lot of time, Heather always like busts my chops about it. She's like, there you are again, screwing on YouTube. But it's like, I get so many ideas by screwing off on YouTube and just seeing what other people are doing. You know, the, the, the challenge with the make money online niche is it's not a big niche, it's a small niche. I've got some videos that have got hundreds of thousands of views in the music industry niche, and let's see if we can find a couple of those. I'm gonna pull them up real quick. So here's, here's one of my videos that uh, I did with my partner, Kevin, and this is the guy that I did a product called Mobile Snatcher with, and we got 353,000 views on that one. And we did another one where we did a remake of a song, Pumped Up Kicks. This song was like really popular because it was very controversial. Um, and um, we got 170,000 views on that. And all we kind of did was remix the song with a local artist. And we just got a video crew from Full Sail University. They did the whole thing for free because they just wanted to get props. We got 170,000 views. We didn't do anything on that video. So, you know, the problem with the Make Money Online niche is it's a small niche, so you don't get a lot of views and stuff doesn't really go viral. But, you know, there's money to be made. I've made a lot of money with, with, those, with those videos, so it's not to say that there isn't. But, you know, the best place to get ideas for pattern interrupts is definitely going around on YouTube and seeing what other people are doing. So we talked about the kind of content that you should deliver. You know, if you want a really good idea for, like, the kind of, kind of content that's short and creates curiosity, Really, what you want to do is kind of just, again, look around on Facebook and, and you'll get some ideas for how to create curiosity. Uh, and if you just like, right now there's like this super hot product that's called Garcinia Cambogia and, and it's like all over the internet. It's getting promoted big time by a lot of people, a lot of big people. A lot of people are making tens of thousands of dollars per day. I've met these people promoting this stuff. So if you just watch this, you know, and you can kind of see what these, how these people are doing. Like this is a good video. I've seen this one. This is a, this is a pretty good video. I've seen this one. They use the whole angle of be careful where you buy it. So she's really smart how they position this video. I highly recommend watching that one. You know, just like watch what people are doing in the really big niches. That's all you have to do is just model what people are doing. Don't copy them, but just get your ideas from them and mold them out to be better. And that should take care of your content stuff. And again, you really want to keep it short. I always, it depends what kind of stuff it is, right? If it's like a review video, people want an in-depth review. Those, of course, are going to be long, right? And I'm going to talk to you about splintering the content when you're doing video reviews. This is a slick little trick that not a lot of people do. And I'm going to show you an example of how I did this on a promotion. And I freaking crushed it because I dominated the whole, all of the YouTube search results for this promo. I'm going to show you that in a second. So that's really important, right? Uh, the content, like, and keeping the video short, right? So, like, the, 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 the idea is, unless it's like an in-depth review, but again, I'm going to show you how to do an in-depth review. Again, you do want to keep, you want to keep the video short because if it's an in-depth review, what you really should be doing is splintering the content out. And I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. Um, the shorter, the better, because people can, like, Go pop on another video and see what they want from that video. They don't have to wait the whole time to watch it, okay? Now, there are times if you go through my channel, you'll see that I've gone on for a long time. But this is one of those cases where I learn from my mistakes. And, you know, it's just sometimes you're in a hurry and it's okay. You know, sometimes I make mistakes too. I'm in a hurry. I got to get a video done. I don't have time to splinter it. Uh, so I just load the whole dang thing up. Um, and I'll still get results from that. So I still screw up and I still get results from that. But really want to splinter the content. We'll talk about that in a second. The next thing we want to talk about here is uh, scripting. Uh, include your script in the caption. Okay. Now, um, let's head on over really quick 
to this video and I'm going to show you that Google is actually reading what's in our videos. So if you go over to your videos, let's use, uh, let's use this one as an example. Google is, is, is it's amazing what's happening because it's, it's already starting to happen. So if we look over here, you go under captions, okay, and you go under automatic, you, th there's going to be this thing called automatic captions. And Google has already gone in and tried to see what this video is about. Now, you, as you read it, it kind of, it doesn't read well. Everyone here is here and I'm looking super grisly. So the algorithm is not perfect yet. As you can see, where it is all messed up in arms shipment. So I'm going to try to my trusted barber stylist, uh, share downtown Orlando, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what's going to happen is after you upload your video, Google's going to come in and read it, and they're going to transcribe it, okay? So what you want to do is after they do that, you want to click on it on the transcription, and then you want to go in and you want to add your keyword. So uh, I had already done this. I don't know why this isn't like this, because I had already done it. I think it might be taking a little while. Let's see. You just come in over here and say Orlando Barber for everyone. And then you can say over here, downtown Orlando. It's really weird because I had done this before, so I don't know why it didn't stick. Downtown Orlando Barber. Uh, so you can just come in here and you can add. I don't, you can come in here and change the whole thing if you want, but you don't really have to. Best Orlando Barber. Yeah, there it is. Best Orlando Barber. And I had changed all this. I don't know why it didn't stick. It's really weird. Orlando Barber. All right, so then just, just kind of leave it the way that they have it read and just go in there and just add your keyword in there. So remember how I said you didn't need to... Have, if, you, if you had a video that was already done. Now let's look at Paul's video really quick because I haven't even touched that video yet. And so we all know that I'm working on that Pasadena video for Paul right now. So let's just take a quick look at that one, video manager, and we'll come over here, we'll edit, right? And then we're going to come over here to captions, and uh, automatic captions have already been, they've already been done, right? So let's say, you know, Pasa, Pasadena gym with personal trainers and best Pasadena kickboxing uh, and then I'm gonna just put over here Pasadena, Pasadena Gym of Arroyo your uh, Pasadena Fitness um, I'm gonna put over here Pasadena kickboxing like, we don't want to go too crazy right I'm going to put Pasadena exercise program. All right. And then at the, at the end, and then save copy. All right. So that's the captions. It's pretty much that easy. If, if you upload the video and the captions aren't in there, um, I, I would have to, because they're doing them faster now. But usually like there's an option where you can say transcribe video and let me see if I can I think they've done all my videos already we would have to upload a new video oh, yeah this one's got no uh, this one's got no v v v voice in it it's just a screenshot of that so that's not that's not gonna work essentially there's like a box here and uh, it says uh, transcribe, but the, the transcribe button is not, like you, if you push it, nothing happens. You actually have to write something in the box. So just write anything, just write a word, a letter, A, and then the transcribe button will pop up and then just hit that and then come back to it and let Google transcribe the video for you. And then go in and put the keywords in there, like I told you, and you'll be good to go.
Okay, so that covers that. So we've got the caption stuff, and now we're going to talk about splintering the content. Let me show you this really quick, because I, you know, it's, sometimes it's so funny. You do something, and then you don't do it again. I did this a long time ago, and I crushed this campaign. I don't know why I haven't done this again. Uh, let's just see, video manager. This was a while ago. It's just sometimes like you get so busy and you cut corners, but this this works like gangbusters. I think it's it's back even further. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Okay, so Jack Bosch and the Land Profit Generator full course review. And look at how many of these there are. I basically made a video for each one of the modules. So in total, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if there's, uh, the only thing I screwed up was that I didn't put the word review. I should have put land profit generator review and I put full course review. But let's see if we still rank. We may, we may not. Let me see, Jack Bosch. I'm freestyling this, guys. Hey, fellow land lovers, this is Anthony Aries. I'm going to be doing a review of Jack Bosch's. Land. Okay, let's see. Okay, so look at all my videos over here. Bum, 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 bum. Now, I'm going to just take this out. And I'm going to do, let me see if it comes up this way. I don't, I don't know if it's going to. Yeah, I come up over there once. Had I had done Jack Bosch and the Land Profit Generator Review, one. Jack Bosch and the Land Profit Generator Review, two. I would have dominated. I, 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 when we did the launch, we were like on the whole first page. We like had push, the whole first page because I splintered the content. And then what you can do that's super ninja is you can go in and you can link all the videos to each other. And when you do that, it's like you just light that shit up, especially if you start driving links to each of the videos. Like we're going to talk about in this optimization section, we're going to talk about getting backlinks. Well, if you connect a link all your videos together and you drive links to the videos it's just just like your ranking shoot up to the top um so like let me show you an example of that and if you look over here it's really simple to do what you want to do is you want to create a circle you don't want to cross link them so like let's take a look at these three videos here Okay, so video one, video one ranks to PSFU, actually I did, I'm sorry, scratch what I said, in this case you can link them together, I did, I did actually, uh, I did actually uh, cross-link them, um, and I'm, these videos are still doing okay. Uh, but, you know, it, it's good to do them in a circle, too. So, like, video one links to video two, video two links to video three, video three links to video four, video four links to video one. That's really the best way to do it. I, the reason I did it this way in this case was because I needed to rank super, super fast for this launch. It was like I had the first page in four hours on launch day. I hadn't done any work to it and I waited till launch day because I wanted to prove that I could rank on launch day. And I think I still rank for the, the main keyword. I had set everything up to go after video genesis bonus and I still rank number one for that. Uh, and the reason I did that was because that's where everybody, when it's like I am products, that's where everybody goes. Now I'm not ranking for review. I lost the rankings for that, and I don't think I'm ranking for Video Genesis. Yeah, I'm not ranking for that one either. So, uh, and I, it's probably because I just, I went a little too crazy. 
But we were ranking for all three of those keywords. Uh, but the one I really wanted to go after was video genesis bonus. So in this case, like if you know, with the uh, the land profit generator, you know, you would you would link one to two, two to three, three to four, and then four would go back, and then the very last video would link back to the first video. Because you know you could technically do that, and you're I mean you're not getting in trouble, right? Because you want to say to them here, here, make sure to go watch part two over here. And then on part two, say, make sure to go watch part three over here. And so all you're doing is telling people to go look at the other part of the video. This works so good with reviews. So, you know, with any big launch that's coming up next, this is the way to do review videos, right? And it's important that you don't do what I did where I kind of screwed up and I put, uh, I put full course. You don't want to do that. You want to keep – and then – Screw the product creator's name. No offense to product creators. You want just the product name. So the land profit generator and you want like review and you want like, you know, part one, right? And then you want to do part two, part three. Just leave all of this the same. And if you do that, you will be shocked at how you will just <laughs> dominate the whole first page of a product launch with the after people when people look for the word review. Uh, do this shit with the weight loss stuff and the big stuff. I wouldn't waste I, the reason. The reason I'm going to tell you why. The reason it just dawned on me. The reason I don't do this with a lot of the products that make money online products, which is most of what I promote. Is because most of them make money online products. They do the launch, and then two weeks later they close the product. I'm guilty of it. I do it too. You know, we create scarcity. We want people to come in and buy, and then we're going to be like, hurry up and buy because we're closing down the doors. So it doesn't make sense to put a lot of work into doing like seven review videos if the product's going to be closed in two weeks. But it makes a lot of sense to do seven review videos for the fat loss factor or for the Venus factor, right? It makes a lot of sense to do seven videos for that kind of stuff or however long. Like just break the review down, you know, uh, and go through the course and, and just break down the – make one video for one part, make another video for another part, and then you just dominate the whole, the whole first page for that product, okay? So let's see what else we got here. So that, that's what splintering is about, and I hope that you see the light there with that because not a lot of people do that and when you do that too you can dominate let's see uh jack i think it's jack bosch land profit generator review yeah so if you look it's like these are the YouTube results, and look, I got one, I got two, I got three, I got four, I got five, six, seven. I basically just, I got the whole launch for that product. Is that resonating? I hope that's resonating. That's some ninja shit that not a lot of people do. And if you hear anybody else talking about it, it's because they got that idea for me, because I've been doing this since 2009. This is proof in the pudding right here. 2009 I've been doing this. Just go and look at the, when was this video uploaded? 2009. Okay. If anyone can date okay, back session number doing three. this before me, then I doubt it though. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in another module. Yours for prosperity.